thank you, uh, Harry, for, for mm. staying and listening to me <laughs> talking about <laughs> Old Mutual uh, while you are very patiently uh, listening in. Let's talk about your earnings. So 20% high headline earnings per share level. And you know, when one talks about it today, you look back to the beginning of the year and you think that was almost like a nightmare. That's way, way gone. I'm talking, of course, about Viceroy. What a difference. How many months? Uh, nine months max. Yeah, well, it's six months since Viceroy. But remember, we brought our full year results out and that was 17, 18% growth. So the 20% is very much in line with what we said to the market we will deliver. Um, and I think what is quite nice is the acceptance of the brand by, by our client base going up to 10.5 million clients. Uh, and like you've said in the introduction, a very strong performance from our digital side, our app uh, now close to 2 million clients doing 147 million transactions. So the, the nice thing about that is you taking normal transaction out of the branch and you creating the opportunity for our consultants to actually sell better and inform clients better right. so they take better decisions. So mm. that is very positive for us. Absolutely. And what is also positive is that, I mean, we're talking about growth of 15%. Mm. And the question people have always been asking about you on this one is sustainability, sustainability, sustainability. And yet you keep time after time coming back with the same double-digit growth. Yeah, you know, you that from? everyone looks at the 10.5 million. <laughs> uh, we actually look at the 4.9 million. And the 4.9 million is the clients that actually banks with ourselves. So they actually deposit our salary. Right. Because when you deposit your salary, that's or when you put funds into our account, then you have debit orders, you've got stop orders. Every you time you money comes out of that account, there's transactions. Yeah, and that's where account. you earn your income from. Right. So that's the number we're looking at. So we've got now 4.9 million banking clients. So. Um, that was 4.2 million six months ago, so we've had very strong growth there. So we believe there's still a lot of runway in, in the transactional side. Um, so we're still optimistic about the future. Yeah, and uh, non-lending as well. I mean, this grew up, what, 32%? Well, non-lending is the transactional side. So yeah. you had a 25% or a 15% growth in client numbers. You right. had a 25% growth, growth in, in, in the number of transactions and in the value of transactions. Um, or what we earn income on, that was 32%. A yeah. big driver there was the digital side. Yeah. L so let's talk about the other side, the lending side of it. Well, the lending side, I think, uh, given what is happening in South Africa, that yeah. we all know that the economy is under pressure, the consumers are under pressure. We made a couple of calls last year, um, this time, where we actually pulled back out of certain sectors, especially small companies. Uh, we were very worried about their sustainability. Mm -hmm. We were very worried about our clients, their ability to earn overtime and get bonuses, so we cut back on that side. And we Im increased the living expenses of our clients. So to make certain that we actually uh, provide um, good credit to our clients, um, we've also changed our pricing. Right. Uh, we've reduced our pricing now as low as 12.9%, which if you look at Prime is 10%. Sure. So, um, is that for your worst customers? Or no, our best, co the best, best customers. Best clients. Okay. Well, we're sitting now with 40% of our clients that is getting a, a product offer of below 20%. So and what's been that kind of trend? Because I think that's what many people are trying to understand. Are things getting tougher out there or are you seeing an improvement in terms of people being able to pay uh, their, their loans? There's for sure pressure on the on, on the Very client. Right. I think the trick lies in selecting the right clients. Uh, if, uh, if we get 100 clients now that comes into a branch, only 25% or 25 will be accepted. Sure. Um, a year back that was 34, 35%. Sure. So sure. Uh, we're much stricter um, and we're making certain that a client can actually really uh, use that credit in a responsible manner. Yeah, and it's showing in your numbers as well because we're looking at net loans and advances here rising 3%. You, you, you can't get that up easily, can you? Well, it, it's a function of the economy. Yeah. Um, uh, currently, where we are, we have opened up slightly uh, in the last couple of months, so we expect that growth to be slightly higher. Uh, but, you know, uh, credit is, there's two co components of credit. There's the, you give credit and you earn interest, and the other side, you've got bad debts. Uh, so yeah. you need to manage your bad debts, and yeah. as you can see, our bad debts dropped with 10%. Yeah. So I think the ultimate uh, result we're very pleased with. Absolutely. It's not easy to talk to a South African banker and not talk about the Guptas. <laughs> Have you ever seen them? <laughs> no, I've never <laughs> seen them. <laughs> they never came knocking <laughs> on your door? We had once or twice, we had uh, related companies that uh, or uh, individuals, yeah. the Guptas, where we closed accounts, but it was not a very big uh, What event. did you say to them? Well, we actually um, actually took um, the approach of um, sitting down and uh, talking to the people, and mm -hmm. they got we going came to agreement that they will close their account over a certain period. But so what, was 
What had happened? What did you see that made you do those things? Well, you, you when you do FICA and you look, uh, look at AML, you evaluate your clients, you're looking at risk, you're looking at money that's coming into your accounts, and yes. you need to make a decision, are you happy with the risk, yes or no? And we were uncomfortable, we sat down, and the client accounts were closed. Was it difficult? Yeah, it's never, never easy to close the account, but uh, you need to look at the bigger picture. Before you go, I'm being told I must wrap up. Uh, but I must ask you this question. There's this big debate about what to do about land in South Africa. We have seen the ANC come up with a position. We have also seen the president come up with a panel that he says is going to advise him. So there are a lot of hands in that pot. From a banking perspective, we've heard warnings that if you do not handle this right, potentially you could have uh, a systemic risk in the sense that, you know, when you when if people are unable to pay their loans, uh, it's likely to come back and uh, uh, affect some of the banks and you could have uh, uh, the whole banking sector being affected. From a capital perspective, is this a big risk and do you see it happening or do you see politicians being sensible in the end and finding an, a, a proper solution? Well, I, thi I think what the people are referring to is the whole land distribution side. We're not exposed to it because we haven't got mortgages. Or any exposures, we've got indirect, uh, but very limited. We've got some farmers who are account holders. Yeah, but it's very limited, um, so it's not a big issue. But you know what I'm seeing and or what I'm saying is that if we really want to change South Africa, we must uh, focus on radical growth. And to get to radical growth, I believe the government, politicians, private sector must put hands together and say, how do we combine our knowledge and our skills and really get South Africa to grow? Because mm -hmm. we can't sit with an unemployment rate of 27%, we really need to grow the country, and then we'll solve a lot of the other problems we've got. Which makes me think, sometimes politicians get stuck up in these things and they do not consult, and yet we've got a lot of brains that they could be consulting and they could find solutions right under their foot. Before we go, is Viceroy gone? I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> tactics is, <laughs> so I can't answer that. But what I can say is I think we've answered all their questions very directly in a lot of detail. Uh, so one will have to wait and see. Absolutely. Harry, thanks for coming in. Pleasure. That's uh, Harry Forey, the CEO of uh, Capitec Bank. <laughs>